Hey, everybody. How you doing? Welcome back to 815 Sports Podcast. We got Drew Schmidt with us again tonight. We got Jay Carcar, the craziest Illinois fan I've ever fucking met in my life. Uh, we're going to talk about Illinois making it back to Sweet 16 for the first time since 05. A very special occasion. Jake's drinking a very heavy drink right now. Um, he took a vacation for it. He's going down to watch the game Thursday. Uh, you want to meet up with him, have a drink, talk, talk to the Illini and uh, Cubs baseball coming up. Um, Jake, we'll let you get started. I just want to, you know, start it off. How much is this media for them to make it back to Sweet 16? Well, I think this is all of our first time watching Illinois play a, play a Sweet 16 game. Yeah. Everybody was born in 2005, but we were all young. Drew was about two years old. Drew was probably the youngest. We were three. <laughs> Cole was a little in the I was middle. four. Now, I, I think I was seven <laughs> or eight. So, I don't really – I remember the team. I don't remember – I don't remember, you know, watching every game individually. I just remember the team and how good they were. Best Illini team. Let's not – we're, we're how we're going to talk. The 05 is the best Illini team. So, we'll just get that out of the way. But this – this this for this program, for this fan base, especially Drew, because Drew's been kind of a – what would you like to say you've been towards the Illini the last couple of years in the March Madness runs? Shit or get off the pot. So, it, it – it's just nice to get over this hump. You know, we've seen regular season success. We've seen tournament success in the Big Ten tournament. And, you know, we now we're seeing a little bit more into March success. So what Brandon Wood has done to this program is remarkable. You can't say enough about it. Most wins in the Big Ten, most road wins in the Big Ten. Um, they now have – three. he's got three championships and – you know, he adds another March Madness win to his resume. I mean, he's he, – it's remarkable because his program was in the basement when he took over in – what year was it, 2017, this 2016? Is a, this is his seventh year, so 2016, okay, 2017. So, 17. so just it, – it just means a lot because when you follow it like we do, and Cole, Cole too has followed a lot more. Not lately. as much as these two. But, but he – like, if you know they win – when they play and you know they win or lose, you're following them. Yeah. So, but for me and Drew, it, it just means so much because you spend so much time, you spend so much money. It, it's it's sort of like an investment. And then, you know, to see him always lose in March early on is tough. You know, you know, you always say, well, we'll be back next year. But I just think it's time, and it was time. They got over it. I, they got a really, really good team. So, I think lot. I think this is the best team. You know, everybody wants to talk about the team they had with Iowa Trent the year they lost to Loyola. Um, but I, I was texting these guys one day. A, I think this is the best team they've had Brad's whole tenure there so far. And B, I think Shannon Jr. is the best player that he's had mm -hmm. uh, since he's been there. I mean, the guy's playing out of his mind um, ever since the Big Ten tournament started. Uh, he, if he would have played the whole year, maybe he'd even have an argument that he could win player of the year in college basketball. But we all know how that went down. Um, he already set the school record for most points in the year, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if that's telling you something, because they've had a lot of good players come to the University of Illinois. And, um, you know, he's I know he's only played two years at Illinois, but he caught on to this. He caught on to Brad's system quick. And, you know, to hold that record, especially when how many games did he miss this year? Six. He missed six games this year. I mean, Jesus, how many points would he have scored if he didn't miss six games? Probably at least another 120. But, yeah, I mean, credit Shannon. Everything that's going on, there's a lot of outside noise, rightfully so, you know, for the people who are curious, you know, but innocent until proven guilty is what we're seeing right now. That's why he's playing. So for him to block that out, for the team to be able to block that out, like they things could have went south when she like let's be honest, things could have went south. They didn't. I mean, we think they played. You know, for a couple of weeks there, when he was getting back in rhythm, we we thought the Illini were playing better without him, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we lost at Purdue. We probably would have lost at Purdue even with Shannon. So, but I mean, he's he, let me and and Cole said this is you said it's his best player he's had. Uh, yes. I yeah, I think it is. I agree. I think that you, you didn't know, agree a couple weeks ago, so obviously well, things have changed. He's been scoring twenty five well, points a game for I, the last two weeks. I just think Shannon's ceiling is higher in the NBA than Io's. I don't know. 
I think Shannon might be a better college player, but Iowa's a better pro. Well, uh, that might be well, true. He hasn't even made it to pros, but I'm just – Well, he will. But. Pure pure athletic ability, Shannon Jr. is off the charts better than DeSumo. Yeah. Yeah. They're, Io can't do some of the stuff Shannon can do, but I feel like Io is less likely to get injured, which means he might have a longer NBA career, which might mean he's ultimately the better NBA player because he's not going north and south 100 miles an hour, right? Io's more of a slow it down – Mid range lately, if you you don't watch the Bulls, but he has gotten to the rim a lot. I know. Oh, he's averaging, I think he's averaging close to 20 something points a game the last couple of weeks. But, but, um, taking a look at this matchup coming up against Iowa State, obviously, you knew that if Illinois got this deep, they were going to play some tough teams. That's just inevitable. Oh. But the first two games, you know, basically against schools nobody's ever heard of, you expect to win in the ways that they did win. But going up against this Iowa State team, Iowa State's fucking good. Obviously, a two seed for a reason. Um, they won the Big 12. Oh. They demolished Houston. They beat Houston. 60-something to 41. 69 to 41. But they beat Houston. Um, In the regular season. Yeah, they beat Houston two out of three times this year when they've played. Um, they beat Baylor, who lost uh, to Clemson. But, I mean, Houston, or I'm sorry, Iowa State's beat a lot of good teams. Uh, they beat Kansas. Uh, yeah, I mean, they've beaten a lot of good this, teams, like I said. And I look at this game, and this is going to be, I wouldn't say the toughest test for Illinois the whole season because they played Purdue, you know. Um, but Iowa State can really play defense. They're not – it's not – like, Illinois cannot get out to a slow start. No. They can't get out to that slow because Iowa State, I mean, they might not play as fast as Illinois, but don't get me wrong, they control, you know. Game. They control the tempo. They play sound defense. They rebound. And they they just they don't get altered, you know what I mean? This they don't get flustered. This is your number one scoring offense versus your number one scoring defense or number one defense in the field of sixteen right now. So you're gonna see which one can outdo each other. Can Illinois score more, or does Iowa State get more stops? This is a perfect. I don't want to say this is a perfect matchup, but there's a, there's a lot of reasons why a lot of people are saying it's the game of the whole weekend. It is. I mean, a lot of people have it won. And then I think people have Duke, Houston, maybe two or three. I think Creighton, Tennessee. I think UConn, good game. San Diego State is the last one, is the I, wor- the least you know watch. But you never know. That game. Might you be never surprised. know. I mean, well, yeah. You, you, you never know what can happen in March. You, no, you, I'm you, just saying. I'm just saying. going to win, but it might be. It might be close. I'm just saying that this is what people are more intrigued to watch is Illinois, Iowa State, and Duke, Houston is what I've seen on Twitter, but. Illinois has to play their game, right? If Iowa State try, tries to slow them down, when Illinois gets a rebound, they got to go. You got to go and you got to get them back home because if you get them in half court, if, if Illinois gets them in half court defense where Illinois just nonchalantly dribbles the ball up the court, it's going to be tough. You're going to ask Shannon to be doing a lot of one on one ball as to, as to where if you can get the ball and run, then you can spread your, spread your offense out, run plays get wide open shooters. Illinois cannot bring the ball up nonchalantly tomorrow all the time because they will not score on Iowa State at will. Well, okay. and I don't I, I think this is a game where Shannon Jr. doesn't get you 25. No. He I, might have to if Illinois I, wins. He might have to, but I'm saying I don't think they're gonna have a game plan to where he's well, they're not they're gonna make somebody else beat up. Well I mean no and who's gonna it gonna have be a game plan too. Drew who do you think it's gonna be tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah. That's gonna score, you mean? No, no, I'm saying, who do you think is gonna be the guy for Illinois to win this game? Because I mean, I'm, don't get me wrong, Shan's gonna go nuts probably in his own way, but I don't think he's getting a 25. I mean, I think if he can give you 18 points, and then you get about 15 out of the mask and 15 out of Hawkins, and then it all depends how they play down low too with Danger or Gary, whoever's playing better tomorrow. I think your X factor in tomorrow's game is gonna be Quincy Garrier because he. The the way the season that Quincy Garrier has had is he's either scoring twelve or twelve to fifteen points a game or Quincy Garrier is not scoring. <laughs> <laughs> so back to Quincy Garrier. Like I said, he's either scoring twelve or fifteen or Quincy Garrier is not scoring. You can't have that tomorrow. It, it, this this is this is a win win or go home. Quincy Garrier has got to show up and he has got to make shots and rebound because that is what he is asked to do. Coleman cannot play like floppy Coleman. When things don't go Coleman's way tomorrow, Coleman has to get back defensively 
Because if you look at some of the recent games, when Coleman doesn't get the foul or something happens to Coleman, he throws his arms up and he's not slightly getting back. You got to get back down court because this is not the game to, to fuck around and find out in. I'm, I'm right. You win or go home. You win yeah. or go home. Mm-hmm. You cannot fuck around tomorrow. Um, I'm not too worried about, you know what? I'll say this about Shannon. When things aren't going Shannon's way, you don't really see him pouting. He still hustles and he still defends. That, that's, that's what I like. I wish Coleman had that mentality. Coleman is huge and he's the second best player on the team, but I'm just saying, I wish he had that mentality to where he doesn't like to kind of be the villain, right? Like every, he kind of thinks like the world's against him because Coleman is, can, there's a reason he's, the, so, you know, supposedly can go to the draft. I mean, he must have some NBA talent, but he's got to show it tomorrow. Um, Drew, is there anything else you want to add? Then I was going to talk uh, to you guys, see who you, who you think is going to win these games. I've seen a video on Iowa State's defense, <laughs> and they tend to kind of try to run people off the three-point line from what I've seen. That's fine. But and then when they when they enter, which I'm not saying it'll be Danger or Gary, but like the shit Damask does, they're going to trap that. Every time. And if they're going to trap Damascus booty ball? Yes. Well, then Damask has to – then he spins, if he Damask spins, has to if kick he spins out. the wrong way or picks up his dribble, there might be some turnovers. There's, there's, there's Probably, yeah. Makes a bad pass, gets in trouble. There, there's going to be – there's going to be – you know, it, it's it's not going to be perfect. Illinois is going to turn the ball over tomorrow. They're going to miss shots. They're going to miss free throws. But it's all about can you, can you, be, can you balance it out? Can you not miss four threes in a row and let Iowa State go on a run? Can you not miss two free throws late in the game? Like they're going to make mistakes tomorrow. I mean, and so is Iowa State. But I'm I'm just telling you what favors Illinois is. If this is a track meet game, they'll they'll wipe out. They, they'll they'll score more than Iowa State. But if you look at their past games, they don't give in to. Look at all their games this year. They don't give in to that shit. I know they don't. Even give if they even it, if they lose, it's still in the 60s. They they that, don't. They that's don't, why you have to hope you play that, their game. Well, that's teams have played their game. All I know, year. but isn't that what you hope you change if you're going well, yeah, in? Well, Illinois, is would that not well, be Illinois' game plan? Teams have played their game all year long. The most points they've given up the whole year is seventy-five points. Yeah. I know, but is that should that not 80 be Illinois' points, game I'm sorry, plan? eighty points. Should Illinois' game plan not be to try to get into a track meet with well, this team? I mean, yeah, obviously, but I just said now that's not going to happen. So that's when you kind of got to set your offense. Yeah, that do what, what you what, know how to do. What are they going to do when they're stuck in the half court? Because sometimes the offense can look kind of stagnant. Well, what's in the half nice court. is in ha- in the half court offense, Illinois has playmakers that can make a play one on one. Damas can. You already know Terrence Shannon Jr. can. Uh, Dane Danger in the paint. If if you throw Low it down crossover. to Dane Danger, <laughs> if Coleman gets the ball down low, I don't really like Coleman with the ball up top. Yeah. Illinois has individual – look, Illinois is better offensively than Iowa State. Okay. But so if, if Illinois is making shots and playing even halfway of Illinois' game, I think they win tomorrow. They're better. I'm not disagreeing with you on that. But I don't know. It, I didn't it's, say it's they're be, a better it's team. Not, there's not going to be no blowout. I didn't it's say It's going to be a, a very team. close game. I, I don't want to say it's going to come down to whoever has the ball last. That's kind of hard to say. But in, well, in, in basketball, basketball, it's very hard. But it's going to come down to – in my opinion, can Illinois make the free throws? Because you they can. Have it. They have I, it I'm sure you can it. agree with me on this. Yeah, like you said, you look under. Just how bad have they been at free throws? It's better than well, years past. Okay, it's, it's better, better than years, than years past, past, but it's that's true. You're right. But remember how bad it's been though in years past. So I tomorrow, mean, that's going to be a big thing in March is making your free throws. Yeah. Well, it, look at well, Houston the other night. What sends you home in March is missed free throws. Hundred percent. If Illinois misses five to seven free throws tomorrow, they'll win. If they miss twelve, to, if they miss anywhere above ten, you're going home. But I, I'm just saying, Illinois has got to get the, you know, you you, you got to try to get your tempo. And, and and to your point, long shots lead to long rebounds. If Illinois long rebounds them, Iowa State had. There's no way they can. There's no way they can't not let the game get do a track meet. You can't get back defensively when you when you get a long rebound. So Illinois get a loose balls is huge tomorrow. I mean that's that's their game plan though, and I mean it sounds simple what you're saying with long shots, long rebounds. But don't I mean don't you think other teams have tried around and found well, out other other teams didn't have don't have a Terrence Shannon Jr. or Marcus Damas. Both of them could do booty. I mean I mean yeah, they're in the Big Twelve though. I mean they don't 
They don't play nobodies. Well, yeah. okay, they haven't. There's a there's a reason Illinois' offense is number one. If it was another team from the Big Twelve, they and maybe they've seen good offenses. Obviously, they play in the best conference in basketball this year, so they have seen good offenses. But I don't know if they've seen Shannon Jr., who can beat you in multiple different ways. I mean, the, this this five game run that Illinois is on is historic. In every way you look at this this five game run that the University of Illinois on. Ohio State, Nebraska, Wisconsin, Moorhead State, and Duquesne. Say what you want about those two teams that we've played. That's not Illinois' fault. That's what happens when you're a high seed, right? How long has the tournament been going on? Well, that's that's good for Illinois high to be seeds, in that position. High you seeds, don't want to be in the right. others. High seeds play lower seeds, and you have a better chance to win. That's why yeah. you want. That's why the regular season matters. Mm-hmm. So, well, they played Duquesne, and they scored 90 points. Well, they played Ohio. They played Wisconsin in the in the Big Ten championship game and scored how many points? Oh yeah, but what did they do? The, every game you play is not going to be versus a top five caliber. Team. Every game's different. I know. Um, you can't play. You, your schedule can't be you playing top ten teams all year. No. Um, but when I take a look at this coming into this weekend, I'm going to list the matchup. You guys, give me who you got, okay? Drew, you go first, and then Jake, you'll pick. All right. All right. First up, we got Houston, Duke. Houston. I think. Well, I I got Houston, but I think the big the big thing will be Duke's three pointers and well, Houston, McCain McCain's been out of his last yeah. game. McCain if, was if, out of his if mind. If Houston can control the control him, then I think they'll they'll win. I I'm just saying, you know, I the last Duke, two weeks Duke hasn't beat Duke hasn't beat. A team that is seeded higher than them in the tournament in the past thirty years, and I know that's, that's because half the time they They're are higher the higher seed. But but you can't sit here and tell me that Houston hasn't played the way Houston. You know they lost, they got smoked by Iowa State. They just almost lost to A and M. Everybody gets their scare though. I'm just saying. At least so, they got out they of the survived way. It. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm taking Duke. Duke. I think everybody knew that, but I'm gonna take Duke. Uh, I'm going to ride with, uh, Drew here. I'm going to take Houston more veteran team team. I, I, du- don't get me wrong. When Duke's Duke's had some really highs yeah. and uh, like, some really if, high highs. If Duke and some wins really Friday, low no one's going to be shocked. They have three play- people who can play in the NBA. I think yeah. it'll be okay. Second I mean, third best game of the weekend. Um, and then I look at the next matchup, NC state, DJ Burns, DJ birds, a little the post. Center? Yeah. DJ birds against Marquette. Would you not like to see a Dane Danger that matchup? Those two down low, that'd be a battle. Come on. I'll tell. I'll tell you what. I Who do I want right to win? There. I want NC State to win. I Who do I think's gonna over. win? I think Marquette's gonna win. But I'll tell you what though. The last time NC State did what they've done this year was back in '83 with Volvano, Volvano, and, and they, they made it all the way to the NCAA championship. championship game. What do you got? You got Marquette. Give me Marquette. I'm Bull, gonna take Bull, Marquette. Bull I, too much. I think NC State's run. Take ends. Marquette. I think. North Carolina State, the run ends. It was um, a great run. Phenomenal run. I mean, you're, you're going to look back at this NC State team, you know, in years and just be like, what an incredible run because NC State shouldn't even have made the tournament. They won They won four games in a row, right? Because they did get a double bye. Yeah, five. they won five in a row. Right. Okay, but four. they won four games in the ACC tournament, right? Five. five. They had to play five days in a row. They were, the, they were that bad? They were the yeah. 10th seed. They had to beat the 15, the 7, the 2, the 3, and the 1. Jesus they fucking Christ. went through everybody. So now they've won seven. They're on a seven-game winning streak? Yeah, and before this all started, I think they lost three in a I row. Mean, they're very you, streaky. You know, if you're a betting man and, and you think, you know, they can continue this, that, that'd be a bet that you could win a lot of money on. But I think their run ends. I agree. I just think Marquette can come at you in so many different ways. Like you said, Kolek is incredible. Um, Marquette's lucky to get him back. I'm, I think Marquette wins. I, I think Marquette wins, you know, I think pretty easily. I, look, I think all these games are close till halftime, but yeah. the better team will run away in the second half, and yeah. some of them. I, I, either way, I'm, I'm Duke picking. Houston, I think, comes down to the last five minutes. NC State, Marquette, I think, is over. By the 15-minute 15, 15 10-minute mark. Timeout. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong yeah. in everything I say if it's if it's like this. If but. DJ Burns makes it the final four, I'm gonna be a happy camper. Give me more DJ Burns. 
I just think <laughs> I just think you know your run ends. I mean, who they you, you played Utah? Who they play in the last round? Uh, well, they played Texas Tech, who was a six seed, and then they played against Oakland, who beat Kentucky. So you can I only mean, do with what you're given. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. But Oakland, they got a very favorable second round draw. NC State did. Well, that's Kentucky's fault. I mean, they beat. They did beat. I mean, they did beat North Carolina. Virginia shit their pants, but they beat Duke and North Carolina. Yeah, I mean, three days. You can't. So sure, I'm just saying. I don't matter who they. I'm just saying that they they played three or four more games of basketball in the last two weeks than a lot of these teams. Yeah, but shit. Eventually, they're going to get tired. But you imagine how high their confidence is right now. Yeah. Oh, that's why I think it's going to be a good game for a while. I mean, they're going to be playing off of adrenaline. And confidence, and, and that can that can do you so much in March. I mean, yeah. you only have to remember those. They're an 11 seed. They're not – well, past couple of years, how you'll get a 15 seed to the second weekend or 14 or a 13. They're an 11 seed. They're not – they're one of the top top conference tournament winners that needed to win their tournament. They're not a pushover that's – No, it's I not agree. Where the, it's not where everybody knows the luck's going to run out. No, I agree. I, I the NC State is in it plays in the ACC. They were battle tested all year. They could beat Marquette. I mean, they, I mean, they could. Yeah. It, yep. Yeah. Um, but I, we're all taking Marquette sweep. Up next, we got Purdue, who looked absolutely amazing last weekend, um, and Zach Eady against Gonzaga. Gonzaga, who looked damn good look, too against Kansas. Hit the cancel so you can see what they're saying. If someone does look. Um, don't sleep on the Zags this year. Yeah. I know in years past I've said sleep on them because they had, didn't play nobody. They play, they had they had they've scheduled some teams this year. They lost, which is why they weren't ranked all year. Now here Mark Few is again. What is it? His sixth consecutive sweet 16 appearance uh, in a I row. I want to say it's his seventh. Okay, so it's over 5. So, incredible Fuck, run it might that, be 9. Incredible run that he's had with Zaga. Yeah. And the reason why I think Zaga stays in this game is because they can shoot the ball. I think they're better, better coach team too than Overall, Purdue. Yes, I don't think I. They're I, both great coaches. I'm not taking Zaga. Neither am I. But I think they, I think they could scare Purdue more than they've seen these first two rounds. Yeah. And I think it's going to go well into the second half. I think you're going to see a good game till like the 10 minute mark, and then Purdue starts to show its muscles. But I, I think this is a really good game, and, and you never know. I mean, you can't tell me Zaga's going in there thinking they're going to lose. Mm-hmm. So I, I think, I think it's going to be tough. I mean, Zach Eady is, in my opinion, almost <clears throat> impossible to guard. But I'm, I'm going to pick in Zaga in this game. I loved what I saw against Kansas, You're like Jake said. Zaga? Yeah, like Jake said, they can shoot the three. You never know what's going to happen in March. I'm just you never saying know. that's and, a bigger and, upset than me and, taking Duke. And I'm gonna take I'm gonna take in Zaga against Purdue. Drew, go ahead. Uh, I got the Boilermakers. I, I don't I don't really want to spend too much time on Purdue because I can't okay. fucking stand them. But I'm taking I, I think they're more complete. I'm than, taking I'm taking Purdue. Edie's too much. Painter's a good coach. I don't want to hear the March drama. It's March. Um I think the, the other how about all these co- okay, before 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 this I move I forget about it. It just came out of my mind. How about the coaches this year that haven't got over the hump and they finally did? Yeah. Matt Painter, Brad Underwood, Tennessee, Rick Barnes. Um, Rick, Bar- Rick Barnes is man. I know Shaka Smart. Eight. No, I know they 28. have, but 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 in the last 10 years, he's had so many good teams and he hasn't. Uh Shaka Smart they didn't do hasn't anything. made it since 2013. Can, they didn't do nothing, but you can say Fred Hoiberg. I mean, Nebraska, Nebraska's been worse shit for a I'm long time. I'm just saying, what, what Fred Boyberg has done at, at for Nebraska basketball is unbelievable. Yeah, You talk about a team that was garbage for, for 70 years, absolutely atrocious, and here they are. They have one of the best home court advantages. They sell out every time they play at home, and he's a good coach. He wasn't shit for the Bulls, but I think even with ED, I mean, even if – he has not an off night, but a, a t- typical twenty point night where he don't go. Yeah, off. he I don't mean, have to have an. He got that. Braden Smith and Fletcher Lawyer, and uh, that's what Lance I think. Jones, it's too much. <sighs> yeah, but don't act like these guys in it's Gonzaga gonna, aren't gonna, four stars gonna, that we've I'm never heard saying, about. It's going to be saying, close. I, just, well, I think it's going to be. A good I think game. it's about a five point game the whole game, and then I say Purdue wins by. What's going to help ten. Purdue is they're playing in Detroit. It's a four and a half hour drive from West Lafayette. There's going to be a lot of. Brown and gold. 
So they're going to have the home field. They're going to have the home crowd advantage. So we'll see. Yeah, it, it'll be a good game. I, this is going to be a fun weekend of basketball. Um, in the final slate of the uh, right side of the bracket here, we got Creighton against Tennessee. As most of you guys know, I got yeah, Creighton this, in my championship game. game. So I, I'm going to take Creighton. I think they're the more complete team myself, actually, over Tennessee. They've got a lot of experience. They've been here before. They almost made it last year to the final four. Why is this? So, why is this game not as favored, like favorable as like Illinois Iowa State? That's a night game on Friday. I know, but they. The, why is Illinois Iowa State number one over this game? Who made it number one though? I feel like your a Twitter is probably that, biased, no, you know, not. just towards it's Illinois. College basketball. It's the, the, I mean, it's number one versus number one defense offense. So that's probably why. That's two. I guarantee it. I just, I just think this game is going to be a fucking barn burner, and I, I'm just going to tell you. Creighton might have some tired legs coming off of a double overtime game. Oh, yeah. I know they've had a couple of days off. Where's this? This game's in Detroit. Mm-hmm. So it's a tough drive for both schools. I don't know who would have. I don't it's know. Probably, who. About, probably about this. I, think I would Tennessee's say Tennessee's probably a little bit longer, but it's pretty close. Yeah. So I don't know who gets the home field crowd in this game, but they're God, both, this is a good travel. game. I. Does anybody got their pick? Or? Cole said Creighton. I got Creighton. I, I got him in my national championship. So I mean, Dalton connects the best player on the floor, but I don't necessarily think Tennessee's better than Creighton. Creighton think- center is huge. He's a really good player. He can even shoot a little bit. I like I like Creighton's coach. I think he's a better coach than Rick Barnes. Did you see the thing with McDermott when they – what's this kid's name? Sean – it was Doug McDermott. Doug. He played for the Bulls. Yeah, and they, they were interviewing the coach, and they said – How'd you uh how'd you recruit him? He goes, Oh, I slept with his mom. Wait, he's the dad said that? Yeah, I had an interview. Are they are they still together? Yeah, yeah it's his it was, I, it was probably <laughs> his, wife. It's his yeah. wife. I get it. It's her son. But I you know, I didn't know it could have been divorced. Yeah. Wait, so you got They're Tennessee? I, I, I Jesus, this is hard. I'm I'm probably gonna take Creighton. I'm taking Creighton as well, Drew. I got Tennessee. Tennessee. I, I I would have said when I filled up my bracket at first, I said Creighton, but I just think double overtime kind of showed. I mean, yeah, you'll have that in March, but like they're really not, they're good, very good, but I just, they're not that deep. Ooh, Creighton? Yeah. And Dalton Connect, I think. Yeah, Dalton Connect's the best player in the four. Dalton Connect might be the best it, player in college I'm just, basketball. I'm leaning, I'm leaning Tennessee. It's fair pick. All right. I, at least we're different on them. Uh, we'll start at the top. You know, and we'll start. Uh, we'll start at the bottom of the left bracket there. So in Los Angeles, probably the first game of the night will be North Carolina versus Alabama. I've got this North Carolina. An, this is intriguing because Alabama scores a lot, and if they're hitting shots, they might shoot North Carolina out of the gym. I, I'm serious. North Carolina is not a team that's going to hoist up 43s. Alabama is. I think. I think what helps I'm, North Carolina in this game is. Like everybody on in their starting lineup is twenty two or above. I mean, shit, you got some of the guys playing, Jake, that probably Ooh, almost went to North high school Carolina, with you. Their start, their age starting lineup is the same as Oklahoma City Thunder. It's like twenty two point four and twenty two point yeah. six. Yeah, it, it it's the same, but it's just points different. One of them is twenty five. I can't remember which one, but they got a twenty two, well, twenty five, and twenty four like, year old. He, um, Armando Baycott's got to be like twenty three. Yeah, he, he's in his last year and. Speaking of age, Pat McCaffrey, Fran McCaffrey's son, is in the the transfer portal. What the fuck? How does that even happen? Get another year, maybe. I I think. No, but he's been there for five years. How is he getting a sixth year? Did he redshirt one of these years? COVID. Sometimes he can get. Yeah, but COVID's only one. That would be a fifth year. Could be a grad transfer too. Yeah, that's true. That gives you another year. The other thing too, his maybe his dad's retired. I I. That's what I think. Something's going on there. Other, he's either getting fired. I don't think he's he, getting fired. Well, then why would your son just leave? Well, I don't know. I mean, I mean Walton. Then Drake, he's not that good. Drake's coach took the West Virginia job, and I've seen his kids in the portal. And he, I mean, you would think right away he'd just say, "I'm going with my dad." He hasn't. I I just don't. That, I, that I, just I, mean, I get. I get. I get, I, get it, I get it. I get it. It'd be cool to play for your dad, but I mean. You got all these schools that want you. Wouldn't you want to hear what they have to say? Sure, but I mean, at the end of the day, your dad's your dad. You don't got to be glued to the hip with him while you're playing basketball. If you got a better opportunity somewhere else, go for it. 
Yeah, but if you're a good player, yeah, then I, I would expect the Creighton, I would expect the Iowa NIL to pay, pay up, and keep him. Yeah, you would think the dad would have. Maybe I'm <laughs> wrong, but I mean, does that guy really have that much value no, in the NIL? No, I don't think so. I think he just wants to maybe see what's out there. But anyways, I that just came to my mind when we were talking about age, and so I I got Alabama. I got an upset. Okay, I, I got like Carolina. Alabama. Drew Carolina. Okay. Next, Not a chalk. <laughs> Next game of the night, Clemson, Arizona. I'll tell you what, Clemson is playing. Clemson's, Clemson's playing, playing fucking They got hot, a really dude. good player. They got, I can't think of his name. They got a really good player. Something Cole. He's really good. He was really good for that round of 32 game. But I'm not – I'm taking Arizona. Look, they're playing in Los Angeles. This is going to be a huge crowd for Arizona. Mm-hmm. And that shit matters. So – Caleb Love. I don't know. I, I just – I just you're taking Arizona? I'm taking Arizona. Uh, right I'm now. taking Clemson on this one. I, I think they're hot. They're hot. Um, I like hotter teams in March. Don't, How about I, a little credit to the ACC? Yeah. How many teams they got in the tournament? Well, that's, still? that's fair. Three. Four. Three. Oh, yeah, four. You're right. Forgot. So Don't forget about that man, DJ Burns. So damn it. maybe the ACC wasn't as bad when I told you his – I don't know. I mean, maybe. well, what, 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 like, what? As like, a, as an overall conference, though, you draw that. I mean, right before you got the them four that made it, and then you, and then you can include Pitt. Well, there were a couple teams include, that made it. You but can include. They, I got beat. The four made it. You no, can, didn't they see have more? No, they have five, four, I think. Somebody got beat in the in the first two games. Virginia did. Okay, so they made the tournament. So five. That's four. They got four teams left in the 16 at Virginia left. That's five. That made the March Madness. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so five. And then you draw that line. You got six at Pittsburgh and Wake Forest. I mean, there's seven. Wake Forest beat Duke and North Carolina. P.J. Hall is the guy's name, Jake. Seven. Yeah, yeah but yeah. there's seven. And how many? There's 15 teams in that conference. Right? Sure. So maybe maybe competition drops off after yeah. seven or eight. Sure. Probably does. And that's why I like the Big Ten I think as a whole. Suck. Well, I'm just saying, your drop off didn't happen until Michigan. Yeah. Everybody had double digit wins. Everybody was over 500. You were getting a quality opponent night in after night out. Sure, you're not going to get Purdue every night or Illinois every night or even Wisconsin every night, but you get quality opponents that you got to play on the road, and those are tough games. So, as we said, Drew, I've got Clemson. He's got Arizona. Who do you got? Deciding pick. I also have Clemson. Oh, I don't know what you guys. Two see. upsets here. Arizona, Arizona in chokes in March all the time. The Tigers, baby, the Tigers. I just think their luck runs out. So, what's the next game? Uh, well, the next game is UConn against San Diego State. Next. What do you mean, UConn? <laughs> yeah, UConn. I'm gonna take UConn, but national championship. Let's not rematch. act like San Diego State hasn't been there. You know, they be a fuck. They're. They're in the championship Here we go game again. They're in the Sweet 16. Yeah. Two years in a row. I mean, I don't think it'll be embarrassing, but I think they win handily. I, I think San Diego State's got, uh oh, Kobe White. Who cares? Drew likes the circus, everybody. The NBA is the worst league in professional sports. You're right. Anyways, back to the UConn State game. UConn. We all got UConn. I think that's, yeah, that's... I think San Diego State has the size to, to hang around. I'll hang around. I mean, I'd and say it, you know, never know. Make shots. Points. UConn's got a guy that's not – he's, like, just a tad shorter than Zach Eady. So, I mean, if there's any team that can match up, if we, you know, with I Purdue you, and Zach I, Eady, UConn, I'd say I, it's – UConn would handle Purdue. It's UConn that can match up with them, and Creighton has a guy that's about seven one and a half. I would – yeah. But, anyways, we can move on. The last game is Illinois-Iowa State. Yep. Um, I'm just going to come out and say I, I, I got to – I'm riding with the Illini. I think they're better. I think they're offensively they're more talented, and I think offense can win you games in March. And I'm taking the Illini. Um, I will say on my brackets, uh, I picked Iowa State in this matchup in all but one. Sure, a lot of, um, a lot of people probably took Iowa State over Illinois, but now seeing both teams play. Well, I mean, I, Iowa State hasn't. I'm they played it. fucking phenomenal basketball too. Well, they yeah, but they their second game was versus who 
who they almost got beat. They only won by like eight. Their eight. second game, they won by eleven. And they were they pretty who much they handled and they pretty much were handling Washington State the whole game. Oh, it was pretty close for a while. I think you need to re back and check Look, that. We don't I'm just saying Well, you're probably right. I probably home. do need to fact check me. All right. But, this is a bias pick. Because a lot of me wants to pick well, Iowa why State, is it but biased I'm, if you think it, it is biased because it it's might biased. Not be. Is Illinois better? I would say they're better because I've watched them more. I would say Iowa State's beaten. I think Iowa State has better sure, wins. Their quality, over the course their, of the qual- year. their resume is probably better. That's why they were a two seed. Sure, but that don't mean when these two, well, like we've said before, March is about. Madison. I already know what Drew's thinking. Drew's taking Iowa State, and when that's fine. <laughs> I mean, it, it is what it is. Iowa State. I, I'm I, taking Illinois. I want the ride to continue. I mean, look, there's a reason Vegas has it a one point spread. I think they're. I think people are half and half. So, Drew, tell us why Iowa State wins. I hope I'm wrong, but Iowa State. Um, I just think they've been more battle tested all year, and while they do primarily get recognized for their defense, they do have a good guard. They play. To the pace they want, they've done it all year, and I hope I'm wrong. I don't know. I said the same thing last week. I thought we were going to lose to BYU, and BYU ended up losing in the first round. So the way I look at it is if I say they're going to lose, then maybe they'll win. It worked last time. I get it. I get it. it it's going to be an exciting game. I can't wait to watch it. I'm not happy that the game don't fucking start till 930 at night. Um, Why? You got work the next day? No, but I just I'm going to be working – you know, all day, and then well, I'm just if you ain't got to work Friday, who cares? Well, I'm just saying, I typically get up Friday. early and get shit done. But anyways, um, look, March is a different animal. Go ahead, this guy's got one vodka Red Bull in him, and he's fucking no, he's ready to run through a brick wall March over here. Is a different animal. We sleep in May. We sleep in May. Joe, what's his name? Says Rosenstein. Yeah. No, no wedding. What do they call those pills? Nitro something. Nitro glycerin. No weddings, yeah. no parties, no. Yeah, fuck, I even think he's at funerals. <laughs> you can miss anything for March Madness. It's like scheduling a fucking wedding during hunting season. It's the same yeah. thing. Well, wow. so so into our final topic here. Um, uh, how how far do we think Illinois can go now that we've seen him play two games in the Sweet Sixteen? I mean. I, I, I think they can. I, I think they could go all the way, I think but this might be the end the of the road. Sure. I mean, yeah, you either got to win or lose. But I think this team is capable of, of beating any team in the tournament. Yeah. I wish they were in a different region. I really, really do. I'll tell you this much. People could say they got go ahead. As an Illinois fan, you bet your ass I'm wanting San Diego State to beat UConn. Yeah. Yeah. People can say Illinois got fucked all I want. But, but look at these other teams. You don't think that. UConn well, yeah, or Iowa Cre- State feels look like they at, got fucked. Look at Creighton and Tennessee. Uh, to your point, Creighton and Tennessee. What the fuck? Well, that's a typical two versus. Th- I, that's what I'm saying. That's going to be. I mean, that might be UConn, the best game of the week. For UConn being the number one overall seed, they got the Big 12 champ, Big 10 champ, SEC and champ. And I mean, I know lost. Auburn lost, but I mean, they put four. Po- well, the Big East is a power five, but they okay, put about why they put the best team in the country. With the four best Power Five conference winners, yeah, but in I'm the just same... saying they shouldn't have done that to you. you that, that they shouldn't have done that to UConn. Ever. No, I think UConn should have gotten Houston. And draw. overall, but years... the thing is, is they get to play in Brooklyn and Boston. So sure. what do you what do you complain about? Sure, that you like you like your draw. And I hate their coach. I think he's a baby. I I cannot stand him. I fucking hate that guy. Ex Dukey, ain't he? Uh, fuck, I don't care if he is. I hate him. But you you like your draw, long, what, what logistically wise? You you love that. But you hate the draw team wise. I'm just saying you hate that draw. Yeah. But if UConn gets through that, if UConn beats Illinois and then they beat Iowa State or vice versa, if you'd want to be in, if I, if you, you don't want to see, you don't want to see UConn in the Final Four after going through there because North Carolina would stand zero chance. If, I think if you want to be, if you could be in one other region, which one would it be and why? Illinois as the three seed still as Illinois. Throw me yes. in Houston's region. I would rather be. I, in like, Houston, I, I would rather be in Houston's region. I like North Carolina's region. Sure, I think they could play yeah, to Arizona's I, style. I, I like I, I You know what? I, That's a good point. I I re I re I re can that. I'm taking Drew with a good point. <laughs> I'm taking the. Is it the East region? That'd be the West. I'm taking the West. If 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 we could start this tournament over, I wish Illinois would have draw the would have drawn the West for sure. 
I, at first I like produce or I like that side, but then I seen Creighton, Tennessee. I told you last week Purdue, too, Gonzaga's a good team. Gonzaga, I want Duke, Houston. Sorry. Keep me away from that side. Yeah, I, and Duke doesn't I didn't, scare I didn't me. take that big niece bullshit. I knew Gonzaga was going to roll. Duke doesn't scare you until Jared McCain goes and has 35. But and guys have nights like that. The guy's talented, don't get me wrong. But he ain't going to come out the next game and go fucking six for six from three-point land. I don't know. But what but if, yeah, he, goes, you're probably what right. if he goes four out of seven? It's not bad. So oh. I just think we all think Illinois is good enough to win it all. I don't think there's a team that they can't beat. I don't I, like UConn and Purdue are very good, but I think they could beat Houston. I I, I, I think well, they could beat North Carolina. The problem for me lies with good old UConn. That's the, if all they, roads lead to UConn, in my opinion. I think if they well, won, I'm I think just if telling you, them, if I they think, fucking meet North Carolina in the Final Four, I'm gonna fucking be pissed. Why? Because it's going to be the second time North Carolina can beat Illinois in the biggest game in school history, and I will hate that fucking school even more when they do it. It's not their fault. It's just a game, and they got to go out there. I know it's not just a game. <laughs> well, I know, but they got to go out there and win for their school. They don't well, give a fuck I don't about care. Champagne, just like how we don't give a fuck about them. Well, I don't give a fuck. We're beating them if we get play them in the final four. Just roll over and say, "Oh, poor Illinois." Yeah, poor yeah, Illinois. Should. Poor Jay Carcar. Poor there. Jay Carcar. You've been to ten national championships. Well, See ya, well, Jake. This isn't fucking no. Illinois is going to beat them. We move on. This isn't like a consolation bracket in fucking Little League nowadays. Not well, everybody gets a trophy. I'm just telling you why why that would have made me mad. It's just that we would we would have. Well, it's either going to be them or Arizona, probably. Who else can come out of that region? Bama or Clemson? Sure. I think I, I, Clemson. Bama. I think Bama. Bama would scare me just because of how they shoot. Yeah, but Illinois plays their style, and Illinois probably plays. Yeah, but you defense. get behind Illinois too much a, in March, and it don't matter. I don't, I don't know. Illinois has a better defense than them. And Illinois defense ain't fucking been nothing the last couple weeks. Fucking all right. last couple months. All right, all right, all right. Let's move on here. Okay. Oh, boy, we'll just talk. Too. We'll just talk a little bit about right. this. Jake and Drew might get into it because they sent 70 fucking text messages to my phone today talking about the Cubs and somehow David Ross got brought up and a few other David things. Lost. I, I, His I didn't name even is David Law. I didn't even start fucking reading it Not because wrong. it was just ridiculous. David it, Law. So many got text that messages. Job. Because of the um, series. You think it was a freshman in high school's fucking group chat or something. It was going nuts. Um, but anyways, opening day tomorrow at the Rangers, 6.35 p.m. our time. Huge um, day. Jake, Jake, what are your expectations for the team this year? Huge day for the state of Illinois tomorrow. Cardinals, Sox, Cubs, Illinois. Huge day. What are my expectations for biggest the Biggest day since 2016 World Big, Series? This might be the biggest sports day in, in the state of Illinois. Don't say history. Since 2016, okay. Game 7. I don't know if you want to throw the Bears versus the Eagles on double doink. Jesus, no. I just I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it because. You can't top the Cubs World Series with that. No, but anyways, let's get to the since, point. I'm saying since 20, oh. the, the, the times oh. where Chicago and Illinois has been glued to their TVs. I just think. This week, I just think it's been so long for Illinois fans. And, like, the Cubs have some expectations this year. The Sox are garbage. They're dog shit. We know that. Cardinals are kind of stuck in mud. I think they're I think they're good. But my expectations for the Cup, I mean, you got to win. You, you got to win the Central. I mean, you got to win. They are the gotta favorites win. to win the Central, barely. In you got to win the Central. And, you know, depending on your matchup, Maybe can you maybe can you win a playoff series? Can you get to the NLCS? They're the fourth favorites to make it to the NLCS and win. So see, like that's to I, win the national. League. Yeah, that's what I said. So to make it. And win. I mean, I I, I just think uh, you guys can go and say what you think, and then we no, can talk about the team. Go ahead. No, you, we and we, the, and just to kick it off, they're the eleventh uh, favorite to win it all. Sounds that's probably. right on border of not making playoffs and making playoffs. That's that's where this team is. I agree with everything. All these numbers, I agree. They're ahead of the Diamondbacks, who made the fucking World Series. Last I think year. this Cub team can be like the Arizona Diamondbacks last year. Watch out for the Diamondbacks. I'm just. Do you agree? Yes. Can they not? The Cubs not be a team that you don't really. Drew, expect? Drew's an Arizona guy. Has been since he went to a Coyote game back in the day. Fuck you. <laughs> 
They're not going to win the West, but I think they'll give the Dodgers a closer fight than people think. Yeah, that's true. Well, what about San Diego? Well, Shohei should be suspended for the whole year, but that's just my I, opinion. I, I don't know. I think if anyone – San Francisco? If anyone's third, I'd have to say San Francisco, then San Diego, and then Colorado. So what what are, what are your expectations Colorado for the, and the Cubs? A's. Colorado and the A's should just combine a team and suck together. <laughs> what are your thoughts about the NL – Central. Yeah, what's what, your thoughts what, on the season, what, bro? What is the peak? What's what, a successful season look what like is to peak, you? What is peak a Cubs? successful season, I would say, would probably be... 15 beers in left field or what? I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> win, win the Central. I would say win the Central, but the only thing is, is if you win the Central, that means... You get home field advantage for a playoff series, which I will then expect you to win first round playoff so you, series. Because if you win the division, wait. You're what, be, what if you win your division, but you're the worst division winner? You're still a three seed. You still get a home. It's true. The, you the, 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 home the, the better one. wild card team's got to come play you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I look. You 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 I'd you win the central. You win the central, and you get playoff baseball at Wrigley Field. And you know how Wrigley Field is. The Cubs tend to play well at home. Well, technically, recently, technically, you don't get playoff baseball all the way it works anymore. Because if you don't win the division, or you're not the top wild card, the four seed. So if you're a five seed or a six seed, you go play best out of three at someone's ballpark. All three games are on the road. Yeah, but not if you're the not if you're the division winner. Correct. Then so get, win the central. I think it's possible. I think I think they'll probably. What's the over under? You know, eighty four and a half. I, that's I, tough. I I would honestly. I'd take I, the over. I'd, I'd hammer the over. I, I think would they're 80, I'd take, 89, I'd 90. Take, I'd take the over fairly. It just sucks because I don't I mean, think I don't think they're mid nineties. If, if somebody gets hurt, especially like Justin Steele or like Bellinger, not, not even necessarily Bellinger, but like someone like up the middle, like a corner or Swanson go down. Like I know. I, I think you can you can avoid you can get through. An injury to the starting lineup. You, if, so, if someone in the starting rotation goes down, you're fucked. It's. I mean, it's going to happen. I mean, someone's going to go down. It happens season. to every team. Well, if Steele goes down, the Cubs might as well pack their bags up and go home. This Probably. rotation is dog shit. It's a strong. They've group. got two competent. It's not a stronger rotation at all. Why is than it last year? Why? Because you got Amanaga. He's better than Amataga. What the fuck is his name? He's better than Stroman. Sure, he's better than – oh, really? Because Stroman was an all-star until all-star, and then he break And then he had his typical then he second sucked. half that he always does. Okay. And he's a clubhouse cancer in every team. How do, you say this, how, how do you say this dude's name? Uh, you said his last name, right? I didn't – I can't remember. I'm a, how do you say the name? Nobody knows. I have no Shoma idea. Shoma Amataga? No, it's like, Amanaga. It's like – This dude sh- hasn't thrown in the major leagues yet in a real season game, and we're already thinking he's going to be our two. He's, Why he's going to be the two? Yeah, who else is going to be the two? Jake Kyle well, Hendricks. No, no. If it was up to me, Kyle Hendricks would be shipped into Lake Michigan. Why? <laughs> because Kyle Hendricks throws nine eighty-seven mile an hour meatballs. You don't even right get down no Broadway, more. and you could hit. <laughs> They're you, not even paying him that much money, and he was a big part of them winning a World Series. You're not just going oh, to tell him to go fuck himself. Oh, <laughs> here comes the World Series. And, 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 if, and if, he, if you put him in the – But everybody you, wanted Joe Madden gone right after he won the World Series. What? Joe Madden was a fucking horseshit manager. Oh, you're so stupid. He was. Oh, Jesus. Okay, how'd it work out in L.A.? Joe, Joe how, Madden. You know what? I Joe know, Madden overachieved. I want to know how it worked he's out. Not, he's not a bad you manager. Know what? He's not a bad manager. All but things he's aside, he's overrated. Who won the 2016 World he Series? He's overrated. Who won the 2016 World I'm so confused. Was it the Indians or the Cubs? The Cubs. Okay. Done. Done. Anything he did, over. You know they who won them that World Series? Lester and Chapman and Ben Zobrist. Kyle Schwarber played a big part. Sure, in the and, and World who Series. put those guys in the lineup in the right order? Who brought them in? How? I mean, if if you're a manager, you don't really have to be a brain surgeon to know that John Lester was your ace, Chapman <laughs> threw 103 miles an hour, and Zobrist was one of the best utility guys in the league. That doesn't take. There's a, a reason they didn't win a World Series for a hundred and something years. Hundred eight. You had How Lou you Pinella, that number? You, well, you had Lou who, Pinella, and you had the best. You know who else record you, in baseball back to back years? You know years. who else you can credit for uh, them winning that World Series is that front office. Theo, that you always. Bash. It ain't Jed Hoyer. That bomb. He was part of it. Jed Hoyer's a bomb. 
It's I'll, not I'll, all just one guy. Yeah. As much as you think no, it is in the front Jed office, Hoyer. it's not all just one it's guy. It's Jed Hoyer, and he don't like to spend money because he wants to see Why all the young they guys got come so up. many young guys that are going to be good. That's just idiot. They're going to be good. They gave Jordan Montgomery $25 million, and he won, He went 10 and 11 last year. Why does – That's going to be better than our number two. In what world – In what <laughs> That world, will be better than in, our number in, two. In what world does an under 500 record – Get you twenty five million dollars a year. Ask that is Marcus Stroman. More shit. Ask Marcus Stroman what it gets you. Well, he got what eighteen or something. That's more. It was, and the Cubs, were, the Cubs are going to the Cubs are going to give him twenty. With our contract. our number two starting pitcher won't have more than eleven wins. Sorry, you want to bet on it? Yeah. Sorry, you want to bet on it? If 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 our number two starter isn't going to have more than eleven wins, then we're going to win. You think Kyle Hendricks is going to have eleven wins? I you think he's I number two? I bet he gets you ten. I think Kyle Hendricks is—he's the best fifth starter in baseball. Oh, he is. God. What do you mean? Maybe five. That's fine if you're going to say five. Oh, then you got Wicks, who had a good year oh, last yeah. year. Oh yeah, we're banking on Wicks having another good year. He's young. Nah, you're Hassad. <laughs> he can't go more than four innings. How do you know that? Because he sucks. Are we done with Drew Smiley? Oh, yeah. He's in the bullpen. Don't get me started. With <laughs> oh, he's in the pen. Come Don't, on, Drew Smiley. You you ship him them. You ship him and Kyle Hendricks, oh. and you you kick him into the ocean, Lake Michigan. The reason that we he, haven't even talked about Javis and Talia. The reason you keep a guy. And he, this he's line, terrible. This, you guys are laughing, but the starting rotation is a joke. It's a joke. You it. have a you have a below five hundred starting rotation, and you, you your one through nine is solid. Their lineup is great. Very good lineup. Very good bullpen. Your fucking starting hold rotation, hold on, hold on. garbage, right, right there. Hold on. <laughs> what they missed the playoffs by one game last year. They've gotten more people. They got the tenth best bullpen in the league. That's what I've seen. And half better. the reason, and I've seen. Keep talking, but I, <laughs> I see a tweet that I liked. I remember it, and I'm gonna find it. We ain't got time for this yes, bullshit. We do. Listen. They I don't, don't like th- everything I see on Twitter like you. So they're this is one take through about nine ten seconds to find it. They're one through nine is great. I like their I here, like here we go. This tweet was on this is kind of Ross's fault. This tweet was on September 21st. Cubs rolled the same four relief pitchers every night for three months in a row, like there was never going to be a tomorrow. And brother, oh, and yeah, brother, you can thank tomorrow. David Ross for that. He the bullpen was the fucking what killed that team last David year. David Ross but you, did it. But it wasn't the starters, it was the fucking bullpen. Okay, but you know how many games that they had. You're asking these the starting. You're asking these starting pitchers to do this again this year. If your starting pitcher can't get you five innings, you don't deserve to be pitching. I don't think Kyle Hendricks will get you many. And five when you innings throw, this year. when you throw a hundred pitches in five innings, and then your manager comes out and takes the ball, even if you only give up two runs, you should feel like a fucking loser Look, because your bullpen's got to work their ass off for you because you don't know how to be efficient. I'm going to say this. I don't know that Steele has a Cy Young year again. I agree. I think he'll be down a little bit. He'll still be good. So, but. so then you're even more fucked because you got nobody. Just fucking relax. You're talking about how bad the division is. Then nobody just, ha- if the division we don't is have bad a you say it is, starting pitcher if the, besides Justin Steele. If the division is as bad as you say it is, then just relax sure. and let it play out. Kyle Hendricks is proven, but not, not okay. as of late. Sure. Look at the Bulls up 21. Who cares? No, no we're not talking about the Bulls, <laughs> Jake. Focus on the task at hand. We're going to talk about the Bulls. I'm telling you guys, I don't like the rotation. I don't. And there's there's three people there's three people watching. What do you think about the Cubs starting rotation? Well, we can't I don't like it. Right now. There's no comments, Drew. It turns red with the notification. Yeah, you know. Sorry, that. I'm a rookie. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we know. You're I getting just cooked think, over here I by just Jake. Think, <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I just think. We don't have a good rotation. I'm sorry. I don't know why you think we do. I don't think it's good. I just don't think it's as bad as everybody's saying. They they haven't proven anything. What do you? They weren't terrible last year. You're going off of one. You're going off of a half of a year. Hassan didn't start okay. all last year. Everybody was. Wicks good. didn't start all last year. You you just said they're going off half a year or one year. Everybody was fucking having a stroke over Cody Bellinger. He's who, done who, it. Who says he doesn't hit 15 home runs this year and strike out 120 times? Is he going to play decent center field? You're telling me you don't take the gamble on Bellinger after I mean, the year you, he had you, last you year? Do. Wait, I'm just saying. and Bellinger did this years ago in L.A. I mean, then he got hurt. And then he he came off of a hurt injury and was 
I'm just kind of bad. I mean, I wanted him back. I agree with it. You kind of got to take that gamble, but I mean, it's not. I don't think it's you. Was, you as, think you, you might be the only Cub fan I've heard. You this. think you, like you a, said you wanted him back, but middle, you think like a middle tier organization. Not really. I think mean, big. The Cubs are worth five billion dollars. I agree that they got him back. I just said that, but I just think that it wasn't as huge of a deal as it was made out to be. I mean. Oh, well, I think why, it was. Why? Okay, why did? Why was he a free agent for that long? Obviously, other because of his fucking agent. He I'm, could have signed he, somewhere, Drew, Scott before Boris he signed with us. Come Obviously, on. other teams kind of thought the same thing, and I mean, he was—he had that the year he won MVP, and then he was bad for how long? Like three three years? year MVP. He was really what good for think, three years. What are you? What are you considering bad? He was really good for three years, Drew. Well, he was bad for the Dodgers, for but he was hurt years. for three years. I'm saying his first three years in the league, he was fucking awesome. I, Cody Bellinger is, might be an all star next this year. I hope he so. should he be an all star. He should be. And if you're complaining about the Cubs bringing someone like that back, I'm not. I just I agree. All with right, it, we'll but. move on. We'll move on because I want to wrap this up so I can go eat dinner. But I want to get to this point. Who Jake will go with you first, and I'll go to Drew. Who do you think is going to be somebody that? Is going to come out of nowhere, you think, for the Cubs? It's going to have a really good year. I would say last year for me, it was Jan Gomes. Jesus Christ. Um, give me a second, I guess. Um, Drew, you got one quick? So, yeah. yeah, but he said that can, can come out of nowhere. I, I was going to say, say is going to say is my MVP of the team of the team this yeah. year. That's who I think makes the bigger jump. But that comes out of nowhere. I want to say someone like Michael Bush. Could be. That that hits 15 to 20 home runs, 60 RBIs, and you're like, whoa. Just fucking thank God we got him. If you're talking about this year's team, he might not be the future. I get it. But if we're talking about this year's team, someone coming out of South, come, someone coming come, come out of left field, I would maybe pick Michael Bush. Miles Master Pony. Oh my God. I think it's time to end this. Oh, geez. Uh I, I I don't know if Drew's being serious no. or just trying to ride so all the Are we all taking the Cubs to win the Central? Yes. I'm taking the Cubs to win the Central. And I'm taking the over 84 and a half wins. Drew? I think they're a wild card. Fucking bum. All right. So we got Drew. We got Drew with us. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hopefully next time we get more people in here, we chat a little Hopefully bit more. Hopefully next week we, we are talking about the final four in the line. I Jake's had one vodka Red Bull slurring. We will have an hour talk about that. All right, we'll see you guys.